All right, so now that you've launched your blog, maybe you've written a few posts, and maybe even done some light customization, you may want to actually invite more users to your site. Now, when I say users, I actually mean other authors. Perhaps you have another friend that you want to have contributing to your blog. You can even have another 10 or 20 people contributing to your blog. That's the nice thing about WordPress. It does allow for multiple users and multiple authors, and there are some kind of rules and different levels of security that you can offer these folks. Let's take a look at actually how this works. It's really easy. Go back into your dashboard where you have all your settings. Come down on the left side here, locate where it says users. And when you click on that, you'll see that you get a list of all your users on the site. Now, right now, it's just me, because I'm the only person that's actually working on the site. Uh, let's say that we want to actually add someone. Um, I'm going to add another editor, let's say. So let's take a look at how we do that. Very simple. We actually All we need to do is type in their email address here. And now we have the only real option here is the different levels of access. Now, essentially what these are, there's different permissions, permissions associated with each of these. Let's go over them real quickly here. The first one is contributor. Now, contributor is kind of like the lowest form here. Contributor has the ability to add posts. They don't really have much else. They can't publish directly. You have to publish those, their posts in that case. Now, an author is a little different. An author is one step above. An author allows them to write their own posts. They can publish their own posts. They get a little bit more access into the site. Now, the next step above from that is editor. Now, editor can actually go in and they can edit other people's posts. They can publish, of course, and they can actually just manage it. I think they can create users as well, so that's another level up. And then, of course, you have the final level, which is administrator. Now, administrator is kind of what we would call the God account. They can actually do anything on the site. They can change site settings. They can change the layout. They can add new users. They can add plugins. They can really do anything on the site, so you really want to be careful. You only want to give this to the trusted folks that are working closely to help you build the blog. You don't want to give this access to everyone. Let's take a look at the final steps on how we get a new user set up. I'm going to go ahead and give this person editor access because I want them to have a little bit more than the standard users. And I just click down here where it says add user. And there you go. Once you do that, it'll actually say, if they're not a WordPress account user, it'll actually ask you to invite them. And what they receive from that point on is they receive this nice email tells them how to actually get started in the site, uh, gives them kind of explanation, let them set their own password, and then once they've kind of gone through that process, they'll be part of your site. They can log directly in, and they can start working with you on your blog. If you want to learn more about WordPress, please check out any of these videos.